popping and I'm singing this song. All the little birds on Jaybird Street love to hear the robin go tweet, 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 rockin' robin. Tweet, 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 rockin' robin. Tweet, 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 Hey guys, what's going on? It's the Dirty Govan here. And I'm sorry that that song went a little bit over the time limit, but I wanted to get to the chorus of that song that Go rock and rock because we're really going to rock tonight. I have a horrible singing voice, I know. And I'm a little congested, so it's even worse. So, um, you know. But who doesn't like to sing? I, 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 don't, I don't like it when people say, you know, oh, I can't sing. It's fun to sing. I, I will admit to that. I love to sing. It is a, it, it brightens up my day. You know, like, if I could sing in class, I would, simply because it's fun. But, um, no, because teachers like, hey, you can't sing, man, man, man. And so, um, yeah. But, sorry that was five seconds over. I just wanted to get to the court, to the um, chorus of that. So, um, oh, and if you don't know the name of that song... Well, actually, I'm pretty sure you can get the name of that song, because I went to the chorus, so, um, it's a good song, and, um, I, I have a newfound appreciation for, um, jazz music, because I, like, when I have, like, all my music on, like, my phone or my iPod or something, it's all, like, classical rock, and you know, like, Guns N' Roses, Van Halen, ACDC, and, um, all those guys, you know, 80s, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s, even a little 60s, and um, one, um, this song, Rockin' Robin, by um, Bobby Day, got me interested in jazz music, and so, um, yeah, I've been listening to a lot of jazz music lately, and not not like those long jazz solos where it's like the saxophone just plays for forever, I'm talking like, let me see, like, um, what's his name, Sam, um, I can't think of his name right now, it's Sam something, and so, Sam, oh my gosh, what's his name, um, I'm not sure, but, um, it'll come to me, but, I, I'm just liking jazz a lot, I don't know why, it's just one of these things that happen. But let's talk about the video because I've been talking about music for three minutes. So, um, what's what's this video gonna be about? It's me owning face, pretty much. Um, uh, blah, blah. I can't I can't think straight right now. I just took a four hour nap, and it's not going too well. And so, okay, here we go. Um, we are. It's an alert. One of those. Uh, alerts where it's a competition pretty much and so um, the alert is to capture the tech plants on Indar so we're trying to push to the Mao tech plant and this base is the one is the one pesky base in the way you can see it off in the distance so um, this video well what am I, I can't jump ahead we're trying to push to the Mao tech plant to win and so we just have so many people, more people than the TR right now, that um, we're just gonna, I'm, well, me specifically, I'm just gonna destroy them because they put themselves in bad positions. And like, look at them, you just see heavy assaults, and you're just running around with the rocket launchers, and they're getting blown up, and that guy just ate something. I don't know what that was, but um, you know, it's the TR. They're pretty dumb. So. Um, you can send me hate mail for that, I don't care. But, um, I want to discuss tactics a little bit in this video. But before I do that, I'm going to talk about my channel, my future for my channel. So, um, I've been looking at my channel recently, and I see that I have 830 views, you know, um, 12 subscribers. You know, it's not like, what's his name, Kamikaze7868 who has like a thousand subscribers and like a million views you know it's just not it's, I'm just not that well known and so um, oh my gosh come on die you look at that I hit, him, I hit an engineer an engineer okay engineers have lower health than normal like they have lower health than heavy assaults and medics and he can take a long shot bullet in the face without dying so um um, 
I was talking about my channel. So, um, I've been looking over that, and I have a really good friend. His name, well, their name, they're a clan. Their name is the Nation Clan. And if you want, if you want to go to their channel, check them out. They're the Nation Clan official. That's what's called. And so, um, oh dang. Oh, can I go for three? Go for the triple. Triple, triple, triple. Nope. Okay. And so, whoa, someone's happy. Um. So, they gave me this really good opportunity to do a. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm watching the video and doing the commentary at the same time. But um. They gave me the opportunity to do a promotional video, and their channel is well known. Um, their leader. I'm not gonna say his name because that'd be weird. Their leader. Um, he originally had a Black Ops channel, and for they they're a Call of Duty channel, and they do mostly Black Ops Two. Actually, all they have is Black Ops Two, which is fine, you know. Um, so they gave me this opportunity, or they have like a list of people who need help with their channel. And so they gave me this opportunity to um, do a promotional video, and they're going to post it on their channel in my name, and they're going to see if I can get more subscribers. And so just for for the people who watch my channel, I'm not sure who you are because you don't subscribe. Um, no, I'm just joking. You don't have to subscribe. I do it for the fun of it. But um, the people, if you watch my channel... Um, Definitely a shout out to the Nation Clan because um, they haven't uploaded my video yet. But, um, oh, can I make it like MJ? Nope. Okay, I'm not like MJ. I'm sort of like MJ. Hey, I won the vertical jump in sixth grade. I had like 16 inches, which is pretty good for a sixth grader. So, dude, I was like ripped when I was in sixth grade. But then I got to high school. So, um,. <laughs> No, I'm not obese, don't worry about that. But, um, so they did that opportunity for me, and I'm hoping my channel's gonna get some fame for it. And so, um, yeah, definitely a shout out to them. Um, if they're, if they're watching this far into, oh, hello, hello, ho. <clears throat> Eat it, oh, yeah! Oh, get knifed. Dang, okay. And so, shout out to them, because i got to start talking about this video. But, um, what's going to happen now is I'm going to go so... Look at this. Look at... Alright, watch this. Here we go. Look at, oh, alright, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I got that guy. Okay. The infiltrators know I'm up on this hill, down by their base, because they're like, oh, he's going to pick us off, so we're going to go invisible and move up there and take him out. <laughs> There's a lot of infiltrators up here. And so, I'm just going to own some people. Hello. Uh boom got that guy dude I, I go so hard right here it's insane and so I have one bar of health left and so you know I'm just chilling out looking for them infiltrators trying to snipe them in the face I really don't have the best scope for this scenario and um let me see there's two, there's two infiltrators right there I kinda had a little bit of a brain fart and so um he rocks in the tree top. Oh. I'm not. I'm not sure why I'm not talking. It's just, dude, I'm really out of it. Um. All right, here we go. So, um, yep. Shout out to Nation Clan. And um, no, stop moving, you poopy face. Wow. All right, we can go with that. Oh, that was the guy from before. Huh. <laughs> Funny. But um, before I start talking about the uh tactics um i'm just going to i'm just going to warn you in advance that this video is broken up into two parts there'll be a little bit of a transition and you'll notice the time of day will change a little bit because as i um this is the first part as i was recording the first part my computer crashed and so i had to go back into the game and start recording it and then my computer crashed again so there's a third part which isn't very long but um the first part is definitely the longest part. So, and the first part is the most intense in my opinion. But um 
I'll let you, I'll let you know when the transition happens. So um, for the next couple seconds, I'm just going to be camping this base, and then I'm going to move. We're going to move on to the Mao Tech plant, and we're going to do some more insane sniping. So I'm going to talk about tactics for a little bit, and I'm going to talk about this space especially, and, and I'll, I'll talk about capturing bases in general. Um, bases are very important in Planet Side 2, and it really annoys me to see people who kind of just, you know, they just go around and kill people, you know, and um, what's cool about this game is that not all people are like that, you know, it's not like Call of Duty, which is like go around spraying, praying, uh, I'm not hating on Call of Duty, I'm just saying that's one of the objectives of like Team Deathmatch, you know. Call it Planet Side 2 it is one game. It's kind of it's multiple game modes combined into one. Oh, uh, get ready to get some. He's gonna eat it. Oh yeah! Look at that desperado going to work, dude. This I like that desperado. Here's another. Ooh, I missed that guy. All right. Oh dang it! I got sniped. Holy cow! It's the same guy. That's funny. Um. So, it really irks me to see people that just go around killing people, you know, like, I used to do that when I was a noob at this game, I guess you could say. I hate saying noob, I really do. It's a pointless word. But, um, I get, when I was a beginner at this game, you know, I'd be, oh, it's, I'll go to the other side of the map and I'll find all the people at the warp gate, you know, and I'll snipe them in the face. And so, um, you know, it was, it was kind of, that was the way I used to play. But then I realized, wait, I'm part of a team. I gotta work with the team in order to actually be part of the team. And so that actually I can actually have some more fun as the team. Because if you're playing like basketball and you're on the team and you don't follow what the team says, you're gonna get kicked off and guess how much fun you're gonna have? Not much. Because you're doing your own thing. And so I came to the realization that, hey, I gotta stop doing my own thing. And after that, I just had so much more fun playing Planet Side 2 because it came, became a lot more tactical. And um, that's what I felt like Planet Side 2 was gonna be when I like watched the alpha videos. I was like, oh, dude, this game's gonna be like Battlefield 3, except, you know, like there's more planning involved in it. And so, um,. Oh, I was ho I was hoping for the kill, hoping that would have been really nice on video, and um, so you know it just became more fun for me, and so oh I go a little this is long range sniping if you if you want to know this is about as far as it gets I mean maybe a little bit farther, but um, yeah the transition's coming up here soon, and so um it'll kinda switch a little bit, you'll you'll notice the difference but um, talking about tactics, okay I'm just gonna talk about base capturing tactics in general okay when you are capturing a base you have to know that well first of all always check the number of people you have even if you're not in an outfit like half the time I'm playing Planet Side 2 I'm not even in a squad okay I'm kinda just lone wolf in it and so um, yeah it'll paw it'll lag a little bit here but I get two kills in this section and then the transition will come up and so I'm sorry about this my computer crashed there's nothing I can do about it and so come on you can do it come on you little booger fine we're just gonna have to fast forward there we go okay all better so um now as you notice it's kind of a a uh, time of day change, you know, just chilling out, um, and, um, what's ironic about this is that, um, as we were pushing the, well, not ironic, what's funny, I'm not sure what I'm saying, um, what's funny is that those people in the, um, Mao Tech Plant base, the TR, they came back, well, not, they pushed us back, and then out of nowhere you just see all these TR just lining up 
in front of us that's like 50 tanks and it was crazy and then you see okay I'm not joking there was at least 30 liberators that came by and they just bombed the heck out of us we got absolutely demo like it was the most insane thing ever and so we got we were toasted in the rear pretty bad so this is the TR that pushed back from the Mao Tech plant. And um, eventually we get pushed back even, even farther to the original base that we attacked the, um, uh, I think it's a storage area. That's where we first staged our attack as you saw in the beginning of the video. That was the first part. And so, um, then they come back and now they're capturing that recapturing that base so um, it's funny to see how quickly things turn in this game and so um, I, I realize I can't really go like heavy and like close quarters infiltrator so I gotta pull out the times 12 scope but I'm talking about base capturing okay base capturing in my opinion is probably the most fun thing you can do in planet side 2 and um oh, oh, come on blow up blow up blow up blow up blow. die you die i hate um i'll i'll give somebody 50 bucks if you drop a comment and you know what that i hate thing is from i will i will give you like 50 dollars worth of station cash because that's that's very impressive but, um, what was that about? Base capture. Okay. Um, when you capture any base, you have to be completely aware of what's around that base, what is going to be around that base, and, um, what you can do to counter, like, worst case scenario situations. So, um, first things first, know how many people are in the area. And the best thing to do before, like, say you're gonna cat, you're about to capture a base, and you're gonna move on to the next one. And you got like a hundred people, um, and like this is like near the TR warp gate, just say. And um, the best thing to do would be scout out the area for your team, drop a chat, and say, hey, I counted like we'll just say 16 prowlers and 12 lightnings and about. 50 infantry and then um, everyone will know and they'll be prepared so you don't want to go over a hill and see five like what am I saying like a hundred TR just wait in there and you're just gonna get absolutely demolished and so um, scouting is very important that is what I usually do and I don't want to get run over by lightning that is not what I usually do but, um, who, hello, Mr. Medic, and I'm really stinking. Hello. Okay, fine. Run me over. And then shoot me with a pistol. That's fine. That's, that's wonderful. And so, um, let's see. What am I trying to say? Um, yeah. Now, um, awareness, situational awareness is what I call it. Very, very important. Um, and I'll describe it a little bit. So, um, if you die, if, like, this is, I don't, situational awareness is what you are perceiving in your surroundings and what you can do to counter what you are perceiving. And I know that sounds weird, but that's the best definition I could come up with off of my head. Because I'm not doing a script, you know, I just talk by the seat of my pants. So, um, so situational awareness. Now, this is not having situational awareness. Running into a room when you know there are like 10 TR in there, that is not situational awareness. It might be fun, and I admit that's fun sometimes. You know, if you have like a grenade or C4, you know, go in there, drop C4, you can be a kamikaze, you can put C4 on yourself, just run in there and scream for Allah. You can do that, that's fine. But, um, if you want to be, that's not the tactical way to do things. So, um, dude, look at, I'm, it's like a, 
like uh, what am I trying to say I'm like farming search right now and I can hit anybody and it's weird because you know like I'm not going for the headshots and there's a Sunder who's shooting grenades at me thinking he's cool but he's not cool because he's part of the TR and his name's really dumb even though I don't know what it is and that medic just ate some, a ball in the face but um see look at this he's just I don't know what's going on whoa hello ooh hello 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 ooh, ooh I got a spawn kill that's the way to do it um <laughs> sorry Oh gosh, what am I gonna do here? Die! Dang it. <laughs> that was a fail. Whoa! Oh, that was a claymore. That's interesting. Um, and that's a max, so I'm not gonna stick around for that. But, um, I'm sorry. I'm going off topic a lot. I'm sorry. I know it's bad. Uh, dang. I lit him up. Ah, I almost had him. But, um, situational awareness, always gotta have it. Um, now you have to know you can't win every time, okay? That is very important, that you will not take every base that you enter. So, this really works better if you're organized in, like, a squad or something. Because if you're capturing a base and you get pushed back, you have to know that there is a very big pot, there is a good running possibility that you are not going to capture the base especially if there's like more than 50 people you know they could call in reinforcements you know they could uh... they could push out with like a max crash and they could just destroy you so what you need to do is make sure that you can fall back to a safe base and not fall back but even if you die and you and like say you they blow up your sunder even if you died um, uh, you have to be able to pull back. So I'm gonna light this guy up. Oh, okay. And that this is the third part. So we eventually lose this base, and I'm just going hard in the sniping, man. This is long range sniping, in my opinion. Actually, in Planet Side 2's opinion, this is about as far as it gets. And so, um, uh, shoot, an engineer off his turret, and I got about 50 seconds left. I know I didn't talk much about tactics, but I really don't feel like restarting the commentary, so sorry about that. But yeah, make sure you have a base to fall back to. Regroup, collect your thoughts, make sure no one's crying, make sure no one's taking a dump, you know. You gotta make sure that people are doing, are ready to go. Because if they're not ready to go, um, you'll probably lose. And that's another thing, make sure you are having fun doing it. Because when you, if you're playing Planet Side 2 and you're not having fun, I tell you, it's a lot less fun. And then this medic comes out of nowhere. And this is the end of my video right here. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll have plenty more coming out soon. Thanks for watching. Peace out.